They are poisoning our soil, poisoning our groundwater, poisoning people, fellow Americans. They are stealing from them in the present and stealing from future generations. If it does not touch you in an emotional way, if you really get in to look at this issue, whether it's from an environmental standpoint, a, a, an animal rights issue, whether it's a human rights issue, whether it's an antibiotic use issue, if you can walk away from this saying, no big deal, you need to come talk to me, come spend, let me take you for three days and let you sit down and talk to these people who have to live with this every day. Matter of fact, let me let you live in their shoes for a day and see if it doesn't change your mind. No, and ain't nobody helping us do nothing. They don't care because we black. We back up in the country. I just hope my house don't get burned up tonight from talking to you. He's cold. I'm sure he's somewhere peeping now. You can believe that. He got his boys on you. What make you think you have a right to set up a hog farm and destroy my way of life? People don't have access to clean air and clean water anymore. One of the most disturbing stories that I've heard is the sensation of being sprayed with shit, basically. I have seen this stream filled with feces and urine from this hog operation right up here more than one time. Almost every fish in the river died. Over a billion fish died in a period of about a week and a half. Every one of us on this road got to help the faith. Every one of us, trust me. Our health is at stake here. To raise animals in this way puts all of us at risk. It is time that the village stand up, step up, and speak up. If these people had lived in McMansions, it would have been a different story. It's the power to control. That's what drives Van to the end of sanity. All the laws protect these industries. No one is protecting us.